Welcome to Fitness and Beer Video Reviews. I'm just gonna cut right to the chase and say, today we're taking a look at my favorite property in Hilton Head Island so far, the Marriott Vacation Club Grand Ocean. It's our second time here, it's been remodeled, and this time I caught a few things I missed the first time. So hopefully I can do a better job with this review. Hey, welcome to Fitness and Beer, I'm Larry Powell. I'm excited to do one of my favorite things and that's a destination review. So here we are back on Hilton Head Island. And once again, we're at the Marriott Vacation Club Grand Ocean. So previously when I did a review of this place, I spent 10 minutes calling it the Grande Ocean. Please forgive me, but we're back and we're gonna check it out and see what it looks like since it's been remodeled. So let's step inside and see what we see. The lobby is basic but clean and modern, and there isn't much to do there other than check in. Upon first making it to our desk, our room wasn't ready. Do what you can, and I really appreciate your help. Yes, you awesome. me one over here. All right, thank you. Hey, so a couple notes while we're checking in. They're keeping most people outside waiting in line. So there's a line outdoors waiting to check in. However, uh, customer service has still been very good, no complaints and uh, you know, we're excited to get to our room, see what else we see. Fortunately for us, they got us squared away pretty quickly and we were assigned a room. There is a concierge. We received our parking pass, keys and wristbands, and we were off. The unit was a spacious two bedroom that included a full kitchen with stainless steel appliances and granite countertops. The kitchen is flanked by three counter height bar stools and a dining table that seats six. The kitchen comes fully equipped with everything you need to prepare a meal. Now, I'm gonna hit a few highlights, but if you'd like to see more of the villa, there's a couple of excellent videos by Destination Timeshare that show the villa in detail and outline the recent renovations. I'll include links to the videos in the description below. The master bedroom includes a desk, a king-size bed, dresser, and television. The bathroom is now separated by a barn door. The newly renovated master bath is nice. It includes a separate tub, stand-up shower, and double vanities. Alongside the bath, towels are provided for your pool and beach use. Also inside the master bath is a generously sized closet with a safe inside. And if you've ever watched my videos, you know I have a thing about the space between the tiles in the bath. Here, there's not a problem. The second bedroom includes two queen beds and the unit's third television. The second bathroom is also nicely renovated, but includes only a stand-up shower and a standard vanity. There is a laundry room with a full-size washer and dryer. The main living area is furnished with two sitting chairs and a four-seater sofa. The balcony is nicely oversized with the table large enough to seat four. And although we were closer to the spa than I would have liked, the view of the grounds from our balcony was beautiful. The accommodations were so spacious that the girls were super excited to welcome their aunt Jo for a visit during our trip. Including the indoor pool, I count five pools on the Grand Ocean property. However, only two of the outdoor pools were heated. Let's start in the south courtyard with the south pool, which also seems to be the premier pool on the property and the only pool that doesn't allow outside beverages. The south pool includes a beautiful view of the ocean and is accompanied by the loggerhead bar, which we will discuss in more detail later. In the same courtyard is the dolphin pool. This pool is huge and takes up the majority of space in the south courtyard. And I'm really not sure what's going on with the water feature. Adjacent to the dolphin pool is a pretty nice splash pad. And we're on to the North Courtyard where there is another large pool. The North Courtyard feels like the less busy of the two. And the North is also decorated with a flowing river-like lagoon. The North has a grilling area 
and a smaller heated pool. Each courtyard has an oversized spa slash whirlpool and there's hot tubs located all over the property. And here's something neat. In the South Grilling area, there's a variety of fresh spices planted for your use. Also, there's bike rentals. And really quickly, I'd like to give the attendant Malik a shout out. Service was excellent, and I saw him go out of his way to help customers with their own personal bikes. There's a pretty decent putt-putt course along with bocce courts. And there's a desk where you can grab equipment for both games and activities. There's also crafts available. There is an indoor pool and the gym is pretty nice. And even though they keep the gym to limited capacity, the best thing about the gym is check out the view pretty neat that they dedicated a prime oceanfront view to the gym. Below the gym, there's a lounge where you can chill and soak up some of the beautiful oceanfront views. The beach behind the Grand Ocean is beautiful as anywhere on the island. And as always, the family had a wonderful time on the beach. Lockerhead Bar is near the beach and adjacent to the South Pool. Lockerhead has a pretty good selection of beers and cocktails to choose from. There's live music, and although there is a dolphin grill, it was closed while we were there, and all of the food was ordered from the bar. The girls love dancing to the live music. And here's a quick view of the Dolphin Grill, which again was not open during our stay. Loggerhead has a variety of seating available. There's tabletops, bar seating, and a sun deck where you have beautiful views of the beach and the ocean. And quickly, just so that we can cover everything, here's a look at the hallway and elevator. Okay, so I'm gonna be quick with the ratings today. This place is pretty great, and if you're traveling with the family, it should meet most of your vacation needs. It has an excellent location and is very near Caligny Plaza. If it's available for your dates, I think you should book it. Thanks a bunch for watching Fitness and Beer.